The Lear Education Project is about uh, helping South Sudanese students back home, uh, so we focus on education. My name is Jock Neal, and I run a nonprofit organization, which I started uh, a couple years ago with uh, two of my friends from college, uh, Brent McCann and Haley McCann. It, it was only three of us when we started the organization. But it has now grown. Uh, we have a board of directors. Uh, we have a staff uh, scholarship coordinator back in Kenya. Uh, she's the only paid staff, and we are all volunteers. Our main goal is to build a high school because in the area where I came from, or in most part of South Sudan, uh, there are no high school. Some of the nearest high school uh, could be about an hour away, or two hours, or three hours away. Uh, you know, on October 22nd. Uh, 2016, we have a fundraising coming up, a uh, 5K run. It is going to be in Tacoma Point de Pine. It's a lovely place to go and spend a Saturday morning with your family, with your friends. 100% of the money we raise goes uh, toward uh, our scholarship program from the 5K. Our second goal, which, is, which we started uh, a couple years ago, is a college scholarship program. Because we don't want to build a school and have no teachers. So what we came up with was uh, to have a teacher training program. So we sponsored students from South Sudan to go to college uh, in Kenya or in Uganda because the quality of education there is much better than what we have in South Sudan. So a student that we sent to Kenya to Uganda to study, uh, they choose which field to, uh, to, uh, to get into. When they graduated from college, uh, they will have to go back and teach for at least a year. It was a couple months ago when we received a letter from one of, this, uh, one, one of our alumni. He's going back to his school right now to get his master's. But before that, after he graduated, uh, he got a job with the UN. And he was able to support himself and to support his family. This year, uh, we have three students who graduate by the end of uh, this year in December. In May, we all, board of directors uh, sat down and decided that it would be a time uh, to go and build a school next year. So we actually have one of our donors uh, pledge $50,000 to give out $50,000 in January. And that $50,000, yes, is big, it's a lot of money. It's good to build uh, four classrooms. If we have another person out there who would like to, con to match that donation, to make it uh, $100,000, we can actually build like a, a, a eight classrooms. Uh, plus uh, water wells and uh, even if you don't have fifty dollars, fifty thousand dollars, and you have five dollars to donate, you have twenty dollars. Because imagine if we have one thousand people donating five five dollars, that will add up to a lot of money, and, and we will be able to build more classrooms. A lot of people ask me like, so Joe, why do you do this? Why do you spend a lot of time, and you are not even getting paid? My response has always been, and it's always that, um, I help people because. Sometimes, as a person, you choose what, what, uh, what is the meaning of life to you. What it means to me is that uh, it's to be happy. And for me to be happy, I want to see another person happy too. Just helping one person at a time makes a lot of difference. And helping a person doesn't mean that you are going to give them a car, you are not going to give them a house, or you are go going to give them a lot of money. By helping one person, you are actually helping a lot of people on the, uh, on the way. When we start the nonprofit, uh, like I mentioned before, there were only three of us. Nobody knows that it was going to be successful, that it was going to grow into where we will sponsor more students. And that's why I'm, why I'm asking you to come to the 5K on October 22nd, that's a Saturday at Point de Pine. And please come out and support us. We are very excited. And I hope this year we will have a lot of turnout. <laughs>